What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So if you haven't seen already, Bitcoin is crashing and it's crashing hard. We went down to a low of $34,700 last night or this morning or middle of the day, wherever you are in the world. But this is pretty intense stuff. And I just wanted to make a quick video to give you my opinion on what's actually happening right now and whether or not you should be selling or holding or just maybe running for the hills and crying your eyes out. So if you've been following my portfolio updates, you would know that about a few days ago, we hit an all time high of $77,000, which is absolutely incredible. But we saw such a fast run up and it was inevitable that we were going to see this pullback. And in my opinion, this pullback is healthy and we needed it. What's happening is all of the retail investors, people who are very, very new to the cryptocurrency space have been seeing all of the headlines, seeing how fast crypto has gone up. And basically they have their friends and people around them telling them that Bitcoin is easy money. So what they do is they chuck their money into the market and then when they see a slight pullback, they all start pulling their money out at once. If you were like me and you got in at $4,000 in April and you've seen this massive almost 10x since then, when you see it crash $5,000, $10,000, whatever, it really makes almost no difference. I'm not going to sell it because of that. But if you were to have got in at, let's say, $35,000 and it rode up to $40,000. You saw it rise maybe 10 to 15 to 20% and then it crashed all the way back down to that. What are you going to do? You're going to sell it because you don't understand the fundamentals behind Bitcoin. You don't believe in it in the long run. And that's how we see massive panic. So basically when you see a chart go directly upwards, you always see it come back down because those people who got in too late are the people who get wrecked and the people who get burned because they didn't do their research and they don't believe in the fundamentals and the long term of their investment. So what we're seeing now is lots of institutional investors buying up these dips. So that gives me a good feeling that we're, oh, we're going to be down here for a little bit of time and then we're going to be shooting off into the atmosphere again. This is completely normal and it's what's called shaking out of the weak hands. People who got in too late are getting shaken out of the market because basically what we want is we want people who are in it for the long run. And then that way, as we go up, we know we're not going to do see any of these sharp declines. So on the way up, we need to have these 20%, 30%, 40% corrections to get rid of the people that we're always going to sell. And then that way we get to ride this wave all the way up to possibly 100K this year. So that's my idea of what's going on right now in the world. I'm still holding my portfolio. My value is 64,792 as of recording this on January 11th. We've gone up $4,000 this week, $29,000 this month. So it's all kind of crazy. If you don't know my journey already, I started in 2017. I bought a bunch of Bitcoin and made a lot of money and like a lot of people I lost pretty much all of it. That money is still held in my portfolio within ICX. I've never sold it. I'm still holding it now. Between February and April I then put in another $10,000 and since then I've been riding this wave. It's been pretty crazy. If you guys are new to the space then please consider smashing that subscribe button so you can join me on my journey of learning and teaching you guys and also what I suggest is if you're thinking about getting involved start off slowly and look into what dollar cost averaging is and do that. And then that way you can make the best whether or not we go up or down and you can average the amount it costs you to get in. So that's my advice for you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and you got a little bit of value. If you did, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.